Previously on the Stanley Parable. God dang it. I'm Eight. so hooked to this game, Eight. I just can't stop. Eight. I just can't fucking Eight. stop. And now back to I don't fucking know. Hello! This is Nico B. Here with a let's what the fuck with the Stanley Parable. This time the full game. Last time was just the demonstration, which didn't tell me fucking shit about the game. All it did was make me so confused, I started shitting out bits of my brain. Now we're gonna begin the full game, which get this creeping feeling. It might just be even more bizarre. Oh my! Look at this! Look at this shit! This this is Gameception right here. It's a game and a game and a game and another game. And like I said before, uh, this is a total blind let's play. So I I don't I don't know anything about this. The demo didn't tell me anything. <laughs> just made me just so confused. Now I'm gonna go probably be more confused. Even let's go be even more confused. Is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is loading. Never. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, okay. That's good. Is Stanley that... worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh, good for employee him. number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh, shit. What is he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Sorry, God. Zone out there. The <laughs> Check out my badass pencil sharpener. What does that say? Uh, I hate Mondays. Ha ha. I'm like Garfield. Eh, Stanley's afraid of the light. Eh. Oh hey, this is a. This is where the end of the demo was. So my office was where the elevator was. Hello. Hello. Oh, can I pick shit up? Oh man, I really want some physics shit. I don't want to throw stuff at other stuff. Hello, 429. What the hell? 429 is usually masturbating his computer. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the hell is the No meeting? matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. What does that say? Who started? Who, who, <laughs> who farted? <laughs> Not the guy with the cup that said who farted. <laughs> and then one other guy who's got a cup says, whoever smelt it, dealt it, bitch. I like work. I just hate my boss. Ah, ah. Is my boss is, is this sassy talking English guy? Because that'd be fantastic. I want to work here. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm so so lonely here. I just need someone to talk to. Can I take a bath? Oh shit! What? Why did you close on me? I didn't order you to close. Ah. Hey. Wait. That. That's not employee number. 
That's not important. Number four or seven, 17. It's just a fucking ladder. I'm starting to lose it. When Stanley came Look. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I didn't. Fuck you. I'm a fucking rebel. Screw you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Perhaps he just wanted to shit all over you and your stupid narrating voice. Sexy freaking narrator voice. I hate you. Can't open any doors. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is Stanley crazy. simply stood here, drinking it all in. Mmm. Drinking it all in while staring at drinks. Mmm. God damn it. Want a soda? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Okay. Really worth it. Oh my god. This is almost as good as the A game. Almost. At oh. this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Yes. It's possible that this oh. is why everyone left. Oh yeah. Mm. Stanley then began licking the fridge feverishly. In a slightly... Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. Uh, yes. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. And yet the dialogue kept going on. As Stanley licked the f front of the vending machine and dry humped the side of it. And then Stanley went over to the seat and saw that there was a clipboard. And he turned around and took a massive deuce on it. Ah. Uh. And then he went over to this cup, and he went over, and he also pooped on that. Ugh. After three hours of pooping, Stanley decided that he was done pooping and must continue on his adventure through the office. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Give me that phone. Can I... Oh, dude, can I do something with this? Come on. I can't interact with anything. This is pissing me off. It's all the point of all this shit if I can't even do anything with it. Okay, there's a door there and a door there. Let's go here. This looks cool. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. Or am I? Prince, what do we even do here? What am I doing? Stop closing doors behind me, narrator. Why is every door freaking? Ah, oh, Jesus! Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. All right, can I sprint? As fast as fast as I can go. All right. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Stanley, everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Oh, fuck, now I'm all the way back here again. All of his co workers were gone. Fuck you, shut what up. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Son of a bitch. I wanted... Ah! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... This up. was not the correct... Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> yeah, right. To ignore Stanley everything. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> All right, fuck you. I'm not. I'm not listening to you anymore. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. 
I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that Shut the up. story has been about nothing but you all this time. Shut up, voice in my head. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. I don't know what you're so talking about. Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Don't bullshit me. Got nobody but myself and my British accent man in my head. What the? That doesn't look good. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Her, you need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Fuck you. I'm not doing anything you asked me to do. Can I unplug it? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, <laughs> filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Maybe. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You oh, actually know. chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. <laughs> did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that Damn kind right of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Wait, please wait. observe this Don't. helpful instructional video. No, 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 no. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Oh, of course. Or he could Here, systematically cancer, set fire kid. to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the They're real the world same, makes honestly, sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself Fish. seeking yes, a person who does not make sense, that. in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Wait, what? Back sack and crap? What? Excellent. What? Making choices on a regular what? basis is the best part to a healthy uh, decision-making oh, process. What? Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. I do that do on, oh my god, eight. eight. Less. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. All right. Ah, well, what the hell? Back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Uh, but not fuck? to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Yeah. The hell does that even? 
Please begging stop stop stop. Oh god. What did I do? I didn't know I'm plugging the phone when you do this. Okay, I'm not listening to you anymore though. I I'm my own man narrator. I don't give a fuck about shit or about you or this freaking door. Dude, you guys see that fuck that eight? Dude, did any of you guys just get extremely Extremely now roused when you saw that. Was just meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Can I jump? We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, <laughs> it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't I jump off anymore? I'm a free soul. Dude. Still, I just can't stop thinking about that 8. I think that fucking 8 game might have... Mind fucked me a little too hard. Just can't get it out of my head. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, I thought I saw an 8. It was just a 4. Ah. Uh, uh, Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Well, la ti da, la ti freaking da. No, oh, I would like to go in here. God damn it! Why does everybody lock their door except me? Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means oh, okay. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh. he entered the door on his left. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, oopsie. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Uh, oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what am I doing to the world? Uh, okay, I guess I'll just fucking go here because I can't go anywhere else. Uh. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, <coughs> my story, you destroyed my work. Why? Oh. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? To fuck up your day. Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have <laughs> Termination to live with it forever. Days. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To no. willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, it's okay, no, narrator. I have to, I have to shut the best. game down. I no. have to. I have to. No! No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Uh, wait, wait, what's going on? Whoa. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. Uh, what the hell's going on? game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon yeah. you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, the there's hell? a damn good reason for it. Look at that freaking fouling cabinet. It hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It oh, would yeah? have been so perfect. Oh, I worked cool. so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly Whoa. as Stanley would. Whoa. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did, did, am I supposed to... 
did wait uh If I do this, we'll just start all over again. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Oh! Is behave exactly as oh, whoa. would. Oh! Uh, that means choosing uh, responsibly uh, and always putting uh, the story first. Uh, yeah. I'm quite sure uh, you're bleh, the town. Bleh, just follow oh, yeah, okay. Okay. fine. All okay. right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine, have it your way. Fucking dick. God dang it. Okay, look, I did it. Yay! Yet oh, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I like the other one better. I liked it when the table was like having was like fused into itself. Whoa. <laughs> A lot <laughs> of percent. Teenagers, size of demographics, space between the teenagers. <laughs> Throw something into the ideas bin. No more bins. Trash cans. Renaming of the ideas bin. Firing of me. <laughs> <laughs> By quarterly post review. Tarts need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographic. Finding teenagers to put in teenage demographic. <laughs> Rate at which charts the same side slide same slide to pick the same information. What? Oh. Ooh, wait. Where's he come? Oh, there it is. The hell was that? There's still some fuck up going on here. I'm gonna go in the broom closet. God, I don't understand what's happening in this game. Oh god, it's a staircase from the demo. Uh Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, God. Okay. Hello, boss. Boss! Are you in the John, boss? Yes, I am. Taking a giant bossly deuce. Hello? God, we have some old fucking computers here. Ugh. Stepping oh. inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who Kung orchestrated Panda? this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Of Night course. Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Wow, he really? drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Nope. Not doing it. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I don't see it. Now, I, oh, maybe it's, is it behind this? No? Maybe it's behind this receiver. No. I'm sorry, no. is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Look at this. Oh, look at this corner. Oh, wow, this is. This is great. Okay, I fine. Had 2D books You're not like gonna that. do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why I did. did. You come this way. Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open what? doors, he entered the door on his left. What? What the hell is going on now? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. 
the end. You walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. <laughs> what the hell's happening? It needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. <laughs> Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? How did I get are you up there? Here? You're listening to this, Stanley. Are you there? Okay. Stanley. Yeah, come wait. Me. You need time to decide. Uh. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Oh, he sounds so sad. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> ah! It's never the end, it never the end. It just keeps going. It just keeps fucking going. Ah! Ah! Oh, God, again. <laughs> 